Hey everybody, it's Mike the Ball of Dawnus. A couple weeks ago, I got a letter in the mail. Now, this particular letter that I got in the mail was from me doing a video about a month ago. And that was my dentist rant. So, long story short, you guys can go back into my dentist rant and get the full video. But, what happened was, see my dentist, teeth cleaned, one of my gum lines was going down the root. Okay, just on one tooth. So, sent me to a referral to another dentist. I called that dentist, made an appointment, then got to the appointment, waited an hour and a half for the dentist to see me, for him to see me for five minutes, and after talking to me, he seemed nice enough, I liked him. Uh, I was ready to, I actually did, I signed and agreed to do the work at $1,700. Now granted, I had no idea what other prices uh, if I went shopping around. I, I just did not you know, think about that at that time. So, I got the sticker shock when the girl's hovering over my shoulder giving me the estimate saying it's going to be $1,700. And I was like, okay, I'll, I was fine with that. It has to be done. So, as I'm leaving the dentist office, I get my little schedule card, this, the little visit, come back in two months. I was like, okay. As I'm walking out the door, she's like, oh, hey, how are you gonna pay for that? I'm like, pay for what? She goes, the, ref the um, consultation fee. I'm like, I'm not paying for that. She's like, oh no, everybody has to pay for that. I'm like, why didn't you tell me that ahead of time? Why did you not say anything on the phone when I called? Why didn't you say anything when I was doing the paperwork for all my information so the dentist didn't see me? Why did you wait until after I set the appointment and after I was walking out the door? Oh, we all, we, we do that, everybody does that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I go, if I knew there was a fee to see you, I might have called somebody else. This is the point. We as consumers, just like with anything else, if you don't like the price of your food, you can go to a different food store. If you don't like the price of your tires, you can go shopping elsewhere. Clothes, everything, right? TVs, doesn't matter what it is. Same thing with dentists, same thing with medical. You can go shop around and see other options. You have options, people. So, let this be a lesson. Next time you go see a dentist, Ask them, is there a fee to see them? And if there is, are you gonna knock it off if I do the procedure? Which I think is okay, that's fair. So anyways, I gave the girls my card showing that I do YouTube. And after I got aggravated from the, the girl asking me for the payment, after I paid, I was a little bit pissed off I called back to the office about 15 minutes later and I said, I don't think that was right. Um, can you ask the dentist if he'll take the, it was $135, can you take that off the fee? She goes, I'll talk to the dentist. I'm like, no, at the time I was, I was a little aggravated, pissy. And I talked to a few of my friends and they said, no, you should not have to pay for that, Mike. I'm like, okay. So now in my head, I'm thinking I'm getting a little, screwed a little bit, right? Because the $1,700 visit went to 1835 uh, And uh, I wasn't too pleased about that. And I let that girl know that, the manager. But the next day she called me back, yep, no problem. We'll take the 135 off. I was like, hey, thank you very much. So I made the video anyways. But because I gave them my card already, they must have went and viewed the video. Hence, I get a letter in the mail. Um, 
that I had a sign for. Dear Mr. Baldadonis, I'll leave my real name out. It is Michael though. This, le this letter serves as a notice that uh, such and such a group has elected not to offer you your treatment as described on April 12, 2018. All scheduled appointments have been canceled. Dr. So-and-so, my primary care dentist, has been advised of this decision. Please contact Dr. So-and-so for a referral, uh, referral to another periodontist. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. For treatment. At this point, the dentist-patient relationship between you and the such-and-such -such group has ended. Please find and enclose a full reimbursement of my check of 135. Okay, guys, so I got my 135 back and uh, I went out looking for a new dentist. Now, the great thing about dentists, everybody has one. So I called a few friends that had some work done. Um, a friend of mine named Alan. You might know him. I did a couple of his uh, car videos. So anyways, I asked Alan about his dentist. He loves him, loves him. So I went there on a visit, unannounced, walked in and I said, can I have an appointment? And do you have um, any fees to see the dentist? And she said, no. I said, oh, okay. Then I said, well, I know so-and-so, Alan. She's like, oh, we love Alan. Great, I feel like I'm at home already. Nice little office, receptionist, her name is Jill. Uh, I think she's a manager, Don't, I'm not a receptionist. I know Jill, you're management, I believe. So, today I went to see the dentist, all right? Takes a look, he goes, yeah, I think you have more of a alignment problem or because I chew with gum. I chew on gum every day, yep. Um, that should not be my main focus, but I enjoy chewing gum. So, do we have to give up gum? Maybe, just chew it, you know, a little less maybe. So anyways, that was a free consultation. I get to go back for another free consultation about chewing on that piece of paper to see where your jaw lines up, your teeth. So that's next week. And while he was looking at me, he said, uh, I think you're good. We're just gonna monitor that issue that you have. You won't have any problems. He did a few tests on it. You know, the, the cold water, it doesn't bother it. He goes, you may feel something because you might agitate it chewing something. He goes, we'll just take a, every once in a while, every few months come in and we'll just keep an eye on it. I'm like, okay, okay. Everything for zero, zero. They didn't cost me anything. So the point is, do your research, do your shopping around, get your prices. Hey, you might pay a little bit more money somewhere that you feel more comfortable at. I didn't get a price for the procedure because he has different options. He has laser, uh, the conventional way, which he's gonna cut um, a piece of the skin out of my mouth and put it on the gum line. But that's not so whenever, that's, that's in, the in the near future. I have nothing to worry about at the moment. So, why well, don't I have my glasses on? Addison Dentistry, Salem, New Hampshire, guys. If you're in the Salem, New Hampshire, Massachusetts area, it just happens to be across the street from one of my gyms. And I didn't even know that. It's a beautiful building, nice little office. And um, his name is Paul Matthews, Dr. Paul Matthews. And thank you very much. Um, I had a great experience today. I felt no pressure. I didn't feel, you know that anxiety when you go see someplace, uh, you go to a new office or something? I actually went in there today and there was a woman whose daughter was being worked on and I knew the woman. She's, she worked at one of the stores that I used to go to. So um, it just felt nice to see other people that you knew at this dentist. So, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. All you new guys, all my new subscribers, 
that have recently popped up. Thank you guys very much. Most of you joined because of my steroid abuse videos. This is not an exercise channel. Sorry, this is life experiences that I have gone through, other people have gone through. Um, my steroid abuse was 15 years ago, 20 years ago, but the heart attack happened 15 years ago. So I'm not talking about heart attacks anymore. I'm not talking about steroids anymore. I'm done with that. I've been overwhelmed by all the comments and for all the positive ones, thank you very much. All the negative ones, well, that's your opinion. So, what else can you expect from my videos? I just started learning how to uh, edit. Um, things are going slow, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it right now as we speak. Dr. Peter Pococco, I see every Wednesday. He is a neurologist chiropractor, and he got me involved with this uh, because I have a unique story. So stay tuned. Um, I do have various topics. Um, the car show stuff, anything to do with cars, that's easy. That's my hobby. Banging out a car is nothing, so whatever. But I'm trying to get health issue stories. I'm trying to get more um, people-friendly stories. I just want to have a positive channel, but the filler of my channel, instead of seeing me once in a blue moon, is part of my life, and I buy and sell cars. So cars has a lot to do with it. Uh, you'll be getting a lot of interesting cars this year because it's car, car show season. All right, so if cars are not your thing, skipping through, wait till the next thing. Wait for Conspiracy Theory Thursdays with Gary. Um, you know, I talk about GMOs and health, um, what to look out for with certain foods. So, and everything else in between. So until the next video guys, and again, thank you very much for your subscriptions, your thumbs ups. Uh, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed over the past weekend by this and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Until the next video, guys, Baldadonis out.